Hi, I'm Laura from YoungWritersWorkshops.com, and I'm going to talk about how to write a conclusion and discussion se section for a lab report. Um, one of the most important things about a discussion section is that you uh, talk about the, the experiment without um, repeating your method, um, but you want to, you want to compare, um, use this discussion section to compare what you expected to happen to what really happened. So you, this is your chance to kind of um, talk about the outcome and how it compared with what you were thinking would happen. Um, you don't include raw data in this section because that's going to be in an appendix. So you're really just talking about um, the experiment without including the lists of data or tables or anything like that. Um, now the conclusion section um, is going to be concise. You need to make sure that you um, review and summarize the whole thing, but make it very logical. Make it so that um, the reader of your lab report will be drawn to the conclusion and it will seem very logical. So you want to talk about um, whether it was expected or not, what happened, and how it fits together with um, what you saw. What's, so how the data leads you to your ultimate conclusion of um, what you learned. And now you want to make sure that in each time that you point something out, you're going to talk about the evidence. So when you're saying that um, plants that got more sunlight grew more, talk about the, what you saw exactly that leads you to be able to make that conclusion. Um, the more you connect your findings to evidence, the more logical your ultimate conclusion will appear to the reader. So these are some ideas about how to write a discussion and conclusion section of a lab report.